So it's uh, day one of the ACA National Championship here on Lake Hartwell. This is my dream. I, I'm so excited to get out here and catch some fish. Good one. There he is. Biggins. Big there you go. Giant. There That's you a go. giant. It's time for day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. 400 of the top young anglers in the nation are at Lake Hartwell to compete in college fishing's longest running national championship. This event is set to pay out over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies, crown a new national champion, and award the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Big large mouth. Cool. Yeah. That's a hammer. Good one, dude. That is a hammer. You ready? Get her in the boat. Yeah, baby! Go! Let's go! And that's what we're out here on Lake Hartwell for. Big old large mouth. Gosh, dang it. Here on day one of tournament competition, teams are going out in search of the best five bass limit they can catch. Who can tip the scales with a giant limit of bass and stake claim to the day one lead? 2106, fellas, 2106. Find out next. Give me the boat, son. Woo! How about that one? That's our new leaders right there. Big Silly! University of Montevallo, 2496. National champions, Wallace State, Briar and Clinton. Welcome in to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series. The final stop of the season takes us to Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for the Boat U.S. Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. We're going out today, we're going to try and catch five good fish. We think it's going to take around 18 pounds, so we're just going to go run around the lake, fish a bunch of different locations, and hope for some quality buys. The full field of 400 anglers is set to compete for two days in this no entry fee, triple points event. At the conclusion of tournament competition on day two, over $30,000 in prizes and contingencies will be paid out, a new national champion crowned, and the ACA will award the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia to the nation's number one ranked team. Here on day one, teams are looking to sack up a quality limit of Lake Hartwell bass that will put them in good position for a run at the national championship title. Oh, we had a, we had a pretty fun practice, caught a lot of fish, uh, struggled to really get that big bite, so we're looking to catch one or two of those today. Anybody's got a chance, you can catch them anywhere on this lake, so uh, we're just excited to get out there and uh, see what we can put together. Let's go out onto Lake Hartwell and begin our on-the-water coverage with Easton Fothergill and Nick Dumkey from top-ranked University of Montevallo. The pair is at their starting spot and in search of the first keeper of the day. Super pumped to be here. Uh, this is, we're on Lake Hartwell. This is a crazy fun lake. It's got a ton of fish in it. Just starting out the morning here, we just rolled up to the first spot, so we ain't got nothing yet, but feels right this morning. Feels fishy. That is number one. We're gonna need a lot bigger than that. But you gotta start somewhere. The University of Montevallo enters this event with a sizable lead in the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia over second ranked Auburn, who mathematically still has a chance to overtake that top spot. If Montevallo were to finish the season ranked number one, they would achieve collegiate bass fishing history and become the first team to ever win the title three times. This tournament means a lot for us and also our school. You know, we're trying to go for three in a row school year. Uh, so, you know, pressure's on, but that's not something we can think about today. We just gotta fish hard and get the job done and, you know, just, just can't think about it. You know, we just gotta fish hard all day and 
The bites will come. We just gotta get them in the boat. Take time, take time. Oh, oh come on, go. baby. Don't horse them. One of the bites. Four more. That is one that we needed. Woo. We've reached our first break in the show. Coming up, we'll bring you more great fish catching action from Lake Hartwell for day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Can one particular team find some quality bites to separate themselves from this 200 boat field? Find out next. Welcome back to this episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series and day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Lucas Washburn and Braylon Eggerdine from third ranked Adrian College just boated their first keeper of the day, an early start that surprises the anglers from Michigan. Throughout practice, we've been getting most of our bites past nine o'clock, so not super worried yet. Yes. That'll play. Got six XD in it. <laughs> no post spawning. That Lake Hartwell largemouth bass makes the second keeper of the day for these Adrian College anglers. Adrian College enters this event ranked third for the Bass Pro Shop School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. The team's goal for the week it's to earn enough points here to remain in the top three to finish the season. Well, our team's had a pretty good year. Uh, I think we've got a 100 point lead on fourth, so we're gonna have to, definitely gonna have to catch them here to at least stay in third. And we're definitely out of it to win, but I mean, a third place finish would be sweet as well. So if we can get three teams that catch them here, hopefully secure up that third, that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Little guy, number three. The third ranked team in the nation now has three fish in the box. Let's go on over to second ranked Auburn University in the duo of Sam Hange and Jordan Brewer. Right now, we're sitting in second in team of the year. It's been a really good season for us. I mean, our competitions, Montevallo, they're They've got a bunch of really good anglers, and uh, we hang in there just as, just as well as anybody else. Uh, you know, it's, it's been a very fun season. We've caught a bunch of fish. Things have just gone our way. But uh, we really need to have two good finishes here to move up. Please just wait. It's probably no, I think it's, I think it's best. <laughs> That's a hammer. Good one, dude. That is a hammer. Can I put him in the bottom of the boat? That's good. Is that good? That's a three. Yeah, that's one you want. The bass are biting early here on day one of tournament competition. Following this quick break, we'll bring you more on the water coverage from Lake Hartwell in Anderson, South Carolina for day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. Stay close.
Sounds like Cole. Okay. Thank you. Welcome back out to Lake Hartwell for day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops. The bite is heating up. Its teams are catching a lot of fish and looking to put together a quality limit of bass to begin the tournament. It's been pretty good so far. It was started out a little bit slow this morning. We haven't been catching a lot of numbers, but we've been catching pretty good average fish. And I think we're probably in the 15 pound range right now. If we get one more good one, we'll probably be around the 16 range or better. Yeah, we got one we don't really want right now, but it's, it's still an okay fish. Uh, we've had a day, like, you know, everyone out here is gonna tell you they've missed them, but we, we've missed a lot of really solid fish today that would definitely have us over 16, 17. So, I mean, if we can just get one more like we got in the box, like, I just caught a pretty big one a minute ago, like a four, almost four pound spot. If we get one more of those, we'll have a big bag. Here come, here they come, here they come. Biggins. Biggins. Big there you go. Giant. There That's you a go. giant. That's the one we're after. That's Take a giant. Time. Is it a giant? No. It's not that it big. It ain't big, man. It's Dang not it. going to help. You see the head shape on her? She must have hooked outside the head yeah. or something. She got to be hooked outside the head because she's fighting. I thought I had a monster on. She won't help, will she? In the head, no. They all followed into the boat, too, Brett. From one local team with the limit, we go to another, this time checking in on anglers from Erskine College. That'll work. There we go. That's a little help. Oh, maybe you bring us some luck. Oh, man. Made it right there from the boat. I'd have never thought he would have done that. So really what we're doing out here is we're fishing a lot of these main lake and main creek points with a lot of brush on them. Really just hold on just a second. Huge, but it'll help. Yeah. Ain't big, but a two pounder goes a long way sometimes. I'd say we've probably got ten or eleven pounds. Um, it's definitely been slower today, but usually this kind of deal with sun and wind, it's a matter of time before they just start firing. I mean, as you can see, it's really turned on the last probably 20 minutes. So really and truly the biggest thing to do is cover water and come do all this stuff and put your bait in front of many fish as possible. Let's check in on a team now that has a ton of history at this event. Bethel University has multiple Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops titles, as well as has won the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Hopefully we can catch a fish for y'all. This will be the first time we pulled up here and hadn't caught at least a few. If we don't catch one, there he is. That? He's little. Little? Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a little. Bigger than a. Oh, he's yeah, not a little. Even. Oh. <laughs> he's skinny, little joker. He might get that one, actually. Okay. The one's too no, even. He's too. He ain't gonna do it. He's too skinny. Pretty spot, so. To round out our on the water coverage from day one, we check in with Drew Gill and Karsten Rainey from top 10 ranked Campbellsville University. Oh, we've been doing a lot of. Uh, a lot of dobbing around for these silly bait chasers, schooling fish. But uh, it's been kind of up and down. Like you'll you'll pull up on a place and it'll it'll get right really fast. But uh, then you'll go fish for a bunch of uh, good ones that just won't commit. They won't they won't get anywhere near biting. So uh, it's just been a lot of a lot of running and gunning so far. A little bit of frustration, but it's all right. It'll uh, it'll end up shaping up when we hit the right place at the right time. Big large mouth. Uh, 
You ready? Yeah, yeah. Get her in the boat. Yeah, baby! Go! Oh, let's go! I did it. <laughs> let's go. mangle that six inch flute. That's what we need. That's one we needed right there. It's time to call, baby. Let's go. Oh. Oh. And that's what we're out here on Lake Hartwell for. Big old large mouth. Gosh, dang it. It's time for our final break in the show. Coming up next, we'll go back to Green Pond Landing on the shores of Lake Hartwell for day one weigh-in. Don't go away. This is the uh, Association of Collegiate Anglers uh, National Championship here at Green Pond Landing and Lake Hartwell in Anderson County, South Carolina, and it's ACA's first visit to Green Pond Landing. Here on day one of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops, Lake Hartwell is producing a lot of quality bites for this elite field of 400 anglers, thus showing why it is widely considered one of the top tournament fisheries in the nation. It's a large fishery and it manages large tournaments well. Uh, anglers can fish here, uh, we've got shallow water, we've got a little grass, we've got rivers, we've got deep clear water. So there, an angler can fish his particular strengths and styles here. Um, and with the lake being so large, you can spread out. Anglers don't tend to fish on top of one another when they're here. So I think those are two really, um, the lake's very versatile that way, but those are two really key components to fishing successfully here. 15.99. Ah, oh, that puts them in the hunt there. Five bass for 16.37. Uh-oh, 15.78 pounds. Back at Green Pond Landing, the top teams in the nation are weighing in their day one catch. Lake Hartwell showed out today, yielding plenty limits of bass, as well as some very good quality. All right, today on Lake Hartwell, we, uh, we found a lot of cane piles and we were catching a lot of spotted bass. Um, we just couldn't find that big largemouth bite. We moved up a little bit shallow, caught a pretty good one on a wacky rig. All things considered, how many bites I got, I'm, I'm glad to put in the boat what I did. So I uh, got, a, got a couple cool fish catches on camera, so I was really excited about that. Um, caught two largemouth, had three spots. Well, we had 15.99 pounds today, and I think we got a chance to really, um, really make it happen tomorrow. We spent a lot of time out here on this lake, a lot of history. 17.09, need to hold a couple up for these fans. Kai Barnett and Tucker Simonak from fourth-ranked McKendree University weigh in 17.09 pounds. Their bag was anchored by this five plus pound Lake Hartwell largemouth bass. Our morning was tough. We had a couple plans in play, but they just didn't work out. And uh, we really ended up pulling up to one of our points and they were busting. And we really ended up sitting there for about four or five hours and caught 17.9 out of it. It's, it's amazing to have 17 going into tomorrow. It gives us a chance to actually win this thing. It would be a dream come true to be able to win the national championship, bring one home to McKendree University. I know Coach has been hope, hoping for one for years, and I think this is the year we might be able to finally do it for him. Boat number nine, Karsten Newman University, Drake and Ewing. Another five bass limit. We're seeing a lot of those this afternoon. There's some big ones in there, folks. Oh, yeah. Definitely some big ones. 19.46, fellas. Congratulations on a great sack of fish. You're leading the championship. Drake Hemby and Ewing Minor take the lead with a limit of bass weighing 19.46 pounds. The pair made the most of an early morning bite that puts them at the top of the leaderboard currently. We just took the lead today. It's early on in the way in. We had 19.46, I think. Um, had a good day, a little bit surprised. Um, we knew we had some quality fish, just couldn't get a lot to commit to it. and. This morning they seem to bite pretty well. Um, I'm excited to see what everybody else has to weigh in. We got boat 42, Auburn University. We got Tucker, we got Hayden, and we got five bass, five alive, and they are gonna weigh 21.06, fellas, 21.06. Tucker Smith and Hayden Marbit from second ranked Auburn University weigh in a five bass limit for 21.06 pounds to stake claim to the day one lead. Drake Hemby and Ewing Minor from fifth ranked Carson Newman University are in second with 19.46 pounds and Kai Barnett and Tucker Simonak from fourth ranked McKendry University round out the top three with just over 17 pounds. It was great. Um, it was a fun day. We culled some fish that we you know want to catch tomorrow so we're, uh, we're gonna go back out there and hope for five big ones. Um, 
caught them pretty much all day, but it was uh, tough to get some big ones. We, we didn't really get many big bites, but the bites we got were good. So We had a good start. You know, we caught two or three pretty good ones, and then it was just kind of slow throughout the day, and we got up to close to 20 pounds around, you know, lunchtime, and then made one more call at the end of the day that really helped us out. And that'll conclude our day one coverage of the Boat US Collegiate Bass Fishing Championship presented by Bass Pro Shops here at Green Pond Landing in Lake Hartwell. On the next episode of the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, we'll bring you final day action where a new champion will be crowned and a winner awarded the Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. This has been a Careco TV production.